Hi all, it's uh, been a while. I've been abroad uh, for around uh, seven months and uh, I've not played any DCS of course during this entire time since I was away from my desktop computer. And uh, when I came back, to my surprise, after updating DCS World, I thought it was gonna work, but uh, it, it wasn't working. And um, <clears throat> uh, the game kept on crashing on startup. So I was trying to understand what this issue could have been due to, and it took me about an hour to figure it out. It's an easy fix, don't get me wrong, but it was very annoying. To, to find it and I could not find much information or much help online to be fair and I did not want to reinstall DCS from scratch and having to download uh, everything again all the modules again uh, including the terrains because that would have taken me a couple of days probably since the install is around uh, 230 gigabytes in total now the way you fix this problem if you have encountered it is you go under your saved games where you have your DCS installed where this is the open beta or the stable version and what you want to do is delete this folder I would suggest you if you have if you have missions saved that you've created in the mission editor this is where they are saved they're inside here under missions this is where all your missions get saved that you have made in the mission editor so do not delete this folder without making a backup. So what I would say is create another folder like this one, call it old or whatever, and make a copy of it. And then what you want to do, make sure to rename the backup folder to something else. For example, you know, add old and keep in parentheses that's, that does the job. And once you've done that, delete the original folder. And then boot up uh, DCS world. Now, DCS World, when it will boot up, it will recreate this folder automatically and it will add uh, everything that's needed. Of course, if you go under missions, this is going to be completely blank. It's going to have everything deleted. It's not going to save your old missions. That's why I told you to keep the folder, make a backup of it somewhere else. So you can go in here, let's say copy the mission files and, uh, you know, place them in the new folder that's been created. Uh, if this does not fix the problem, what you want to do is go in the installation folder of DCS World and you want to delete uh, the downloads folder, the underscore downloads folder. You want to delete um, demo mods, scripts, mods, anything that doesn't, that's, that's not too heavy. Um, and you want to delete those. Make sure that you make backups if you need them. But usually those folders, you do, do not need any backups. What's really important here is the core mods. This is the most, um, this is the heaviest folder here. It's 65 gigs for me, for example. So you don't want to mess with that. And then the boot up DCS world. And uh, hopefully that fixes it. Now, if that still does not fix the problem, then what I would suggest you to do is go into the bin folder here uh, in Windows 10 you press shift and right click with the mouse somewhere in the folder some not on a file just make sure it's somewhere else and you go open PowerShell window here and here comes up the PowerShell window you want to type CMD and uh, in the command window you want to type uh, DCS underscore updater dot exe uh, clean up and you want to execute that after it's done doing the cleanup you want to type the same thing now write repair and this will repair the install and hopefully that does it press enter here again and it will repair everything I think it also gives you an option if you want to delete the additional files or uh, for example, if you have downloaded some liveries, some texture packs and stuff like that, uh, then it will ask you if you want to keep those extra things or, or you want to delete them when you do the repair. So don't worry about that. And then you want to try and boot up your game and hopefully this time it actually works. But uh, what fixed it for me, as I said, was deleting the, the folder under saved games. 
and booting up the game again and that that worked out for me so I think it was something due to some compatibility issue uh, hopefully this helps and um, yeah that's uh, that's all so thank you for watching see you next time